You've been inching along there on I-20 since the four o'clock hour, and now you are at the site. That's right, Sherry. It took us over two and a half hours to cover about a four mile stretch of I-20. That's headed east. Let me show you why. This is pretty ugly, and this is after a couple of hours of cleanup. You can see crews are shoveling, smoldering waste off of the road, out of the guardrail. Now, Aaliyah reported to us that this wreck actually took place in the westbound lane, so I want to take you over to the other side of the interstate where things are just about as scary, if not scarier. You can see that flames from this wreckage have caught in the brush on the other side of the interstate, making things even more dangerous. Now, on the westbound lanes, you see traffic is inching by two vehicles at a time. It's not so good here on the eastbound lanes. Take a look to my right here. You've got one vehicle at a time crawling by in the eastbound shoulder on the left side. Now, again, this is a very dangerous situation. Aliyah told us the truck that was involved in this wreck was carrying flammable liquid, so it has created a very dangerous and tedious cleanup process that is backed up into rush hour. Again, one person has been confirmed dead. And if you can, please avoid this area, stay safe on your commute, and stay with us for updates on social media and online at WIAT.com. We are live in St. Clair County this evening. Jamie Ostroff, CBS 42 News.